All right, here we go. We're going to talk about diatonic chords. Diatonic, I've used this word before, it means in a key. So if something is diatonic in a particular key or scale, um, that means that it occurs naturally in that key. So you can talk about diatonic notes in the key of C major. All the natural notes are diatonic. A is a diatonic note in the key of C major. In the key of A major, C sharp is diatonic. Today we're talking about the diatonic chords, so the chords that occur naturally in a key. And in this case, first, the diatonic triads. So you can see I've written them out in the key of C major. Whenever you identify a key, you're going to write the name of the key and put a little colon after it. I want that to look better. All right. So that's how we identify keys. And every single time you use Roman numerals to analyze chords, you will always start with identifying the key. Otherwise, the Roman numerals don't mean anything. So what we're doing here, if we look at it on the piano, is we're basically taking each scale degree and considering it the root of a chord. So we're going to see what chord happens on the first note of the scale, the second note of the scale, third note, as we move up. We're going to find different qualities of chords along the way and make note of them. We're going to use Roman numerals to identify these chords for their positions in the scale using uppercase for major and lowercase for minor or diminished with the little diminished circle. So let's just look at it right here. Since we're here, I can see and hear that that's a C major chord. So we call it the one chord. The one chord in the key of C major is C major. That would make sense. And so I'll identify that with a Roman numeral, a capital one, that shows um, major quality for the first chord, the one chord. See that one and a half steps there, two steps there, sounds minor. That's a minor chord. The two chord is minor. The three chord is also minor. The four chord, major. The five chord, also major. The six chord, it's minor. The seven chord, that's unique. Yeah, it's diminished. And then of course, we're back home again there. So let's write those down. The two chord was minor. The three chord, minor. The four chord, major. The five chord, major. The six chord is minor. And the seven chord is diminished, where we use the lowercase Roman numeral with the little diminished circle. And that's it. Those are the diatonic triads in a major scale, in a major key, and that's that way for any key. Give me a key. All right, E flat major. Sounds good. <laughs> so here I am. If I go through an E flat major scale, and I use the diatonic notes, whoops, it's hard on this little piano, major, minor, major, oh, sorry, minor again for three, four is major, five is major, six is minor, seven diminished, and then back home. So no matter what scale you're in, if it's a major scale, major key, whoops, what happened there? Here we go. The chords will always come out the same way here. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. It's worth pointing out that the 
minor chords in a major key are 2, 3, and 6. The major chords are 1, 4, and 5. That looks gross, but we'll deal with it. And the 7 chord is diminished. So again, major chords, let me write that in minor again. Major chords 1, 4, and 5. Minor chords 2, 3, and 6. And 7 chord is diminished. All right, what happens when we put a 7th on those chords? Let's list the diatonic. seventh chords in major. Okay, again we have to identify the key first. And by the way, when you do minor keys, use lowercase also with the colon. So we identify with the key at the beginning and then we're going to look at the qualities of the seventh chords. I'm going to go back to the keyboard. Here. See that one chord is a major seven. So to identify that with a Roman numeral, you need to add the M seven. That's a one major seven. If you just write seven, it's going to assume a major minor sonority, a dominant seventh sonority, just like a lead sheet symbol. If I just write seven on a chord for a lead sheet, C7, that's implied that it's a dominant seventh sonority. So I need to put the M, capital M, or major seven, in the chord call. Same thing with Roman numerals. We need to put an M7. So we'll use that capital M7 when it's a major 7 chord. Okay, let's check out the others. Then we'll write them down. D minor 7, 2 chord. E minor 7, 3 chord. 4 major 7. You can hear that different. Dominant 7th. Major minor 7th for the 5 chord. Minor 7th for 6. And then that diminished triad with the whole step down 7th is a half diminished 7 chord. I strongly encourage you to go through on the keyboard and play these yourself so you can really see them and hear them yourself. All the chords that were minor triads are now minor sevens. No M necessary. It's a minor Roman numeral, so you just throw a seven on it, and that implies minor seven. Three was also minor seven. Four, just like the one chord, is major seven. Five, as we saw, was dominant seventh or major minor seven. So all you need is just the 7. 6 was another minor 7. And then 7, half diminished, needs that diminished with the line and a 7. Let me write that bigger so you can see it, what it really should look like. 7, diminished 7. All right. Diminished circle with a line through it. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, let's let's call it there for this video. And uh, we'll do another one for minors. So again, diatonic triads in a major key, diatonic seventh chords in a major key. Play these on the keyboard. Experience it for yourself. Try it in different keys, and you'll find it's the same stuff no matter what key you're in. All righty, adios.